Now you know the purpose of this video is to show the law of reflection and on your uh, grid you're asked to do this exercise for three angles and I'll just demonstrate with one. So you need to have the single slit and you need to get out the plane or flat mirror, plane spelled P-L-A-N-E, and you're going to put the mirror in such a position that you get that reflection happening. Now, as we've done before, you need to draw in where the mirror is, and then you need to, let's make sure I've got that mirror where I've drawn the line, and then you need to mark the incoming angle, oh sorry, not angle, line, incoming ray. If it's moved, just make sure you've got your markers in the middle again and the outcoming ray. Now, when you move it away, you can draw in the incident ray, the ray coming in, which you indicate with an arrow going towards the mirror. And now you need to make sure when you draw this, this worked this time, but the first time it didn't, you need to actually, when you're going through those three points you've made, you should also um, have originated here from where that incoming ray um, came in. Normally we just do a shaded line to show that that's the mirror. And we need to draw in the normal now. Now I'm doing that with a protractor, so you need to place place it in this position when you're going to measure angles. So make sure that the mirror surface is on that line and 90 degrees will be there. So that I'm now going to draw in where 90 degrees is. Now, you are asked to measure this angle. This angle will be the angle of incidence and this angle here, which will be the angle of reflection. So to do that, you would place your protractor back down again. Please note where I'm putting it. So again, that, part, that line on the protractor is level to where the mirror was and I'm interested in counting this way from the normal. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I've drawn a 50 degree angle here and measuring the angle of reflection, again from that normal, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So in this particular case, the angle that it came in on and bounced off is equal to each other. You're asked to investigate that for another, um, for your own three examples, and if you're neat, you can probably put them on the same piece of paper. Your teacher will want to check that once you've done it. Thank you for listening.